Hey Dragon Slayers! So today's video is the start of the fallacy series in which we'll look at a bunch of thought fallacies. So the first one here is when the only tool you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. This is an important law of nature. You should understand this idea as it relates to your doctor, your mechanic, and every other expert in your life. Abraham Maslow and others describe this idea as the law of the instrument. Maslow noted that if you give a young child a hammer, then the child will hammer everything that's within the child's reach. Let me explain how this applies to your doctor. We all understand what a hammer is and what it does to a nail. However, you should consider that tools not only help us do work, but also affect the way we think about how we do the work. As a result, the tools we have available can alter how we go about doing our work. If a carpenter has only a hammer and nails, then he will think about nailing things to whatever he is doing. If all he has is a saw, then he will think about ways of cutting off pieces of what he is working on. This was a great strategy back in the Paleolithic days. When human beings had limited tools, it helped them figure out how to take a stick or a rock, the only tool that they might have had, and knock fruit out of a tree so that they didn't starve. Today, however, we have multiple tools at our disposal. Some tools are good and some tools are not so good. However, this way of thinking is still hardwired into our brains. As a result, it can cause us to use the wrong tool. We tend to consider using only tools that we have readily available and the tools that we already learned how to use to get our work done. Here's an example of how this way of thinking could affect your doctor. A family doctor advising an obese diabetic would probably say to the patient, he needs to cut back on calories, eat less fat, and more whole grains, as well as exercise more. The doctor might also prescribe a daily pill or three to take. The tool this doctor has easy access to are nutrition facts that he learned in medical school and his prescription pad. He's too busy to learn about other tools that, could, that he could use to help his patients. Therefore, the patient gets the benefit of only the tools that this doctor knows and chooses to use. A surgeon advising the same obese diabetic might say to the patient that he needs stomach bypass surgery to cure his diabetes and obesity. The tool of a surgeon is surgery. So that is what the surgeon tells the patient he needs. An endocrinologist, which is a doctor who specializes in glands and diabetes, uh, general metabolic diseases, uh, who sees the same patient would probably give the patient an insulin pump and a prescription for some of the most expensive medications on the market. Those are the tools that this expert uses daily and thus the one he is uh, proficient at using. All three scenarios involve the same patient, but each expert uses a different tool to help the patient. You should be saying, I wonder if other tools exist and that would work better for this patient that weren't used at all, which is a good thought. Each doctor is using the tools he's comfortable with. These doctors are neither considering each patient as a unique individual, nor are they looking for new or old tools that might work better in the current circumstances. How should we feel about these three doctors? Should we judge them, hate them, praise them, or ignore them? These behaviors don't make the family doctor, the surgeon, or the endocrinologist bad or dishonest. It just makes them human. There are other tools available to help this patient, but these doctors only use the tools that they currently know about and believe in. Only a doctor who is, who is constantly reading and learning and who often does research outside of his specialty or even outside the field of medicine will discover better tools. Learning about new tools is time consuming and full of dead ends. You may invest hours studying some new tool only to find that it doesn't work, it's too expensive, or just too dangerous to use in general. 
Doctors learn to be stingy with their time, and rightfully so. They have only so much time, and some portion of it is already spoken for. Also, the saying goes, time is money. The time a doctor spends searching for a better tool means less time to use his existing tools to make money. Therefore, you can understand why a doctor might choose not to look for new tools or might ignore a new tool that is unproven and not approved by his medical board, his professional society, or the FDA. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the video out. Sorry, it really helps the channel out. Um, and don't forget, guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.